Hey guys, it's Isabella. Welcome to my vlog. Um, today I am going to view my first wedding venue called the Belladonna Chapel. It's in my kitty, Texas. And it's so pretty. It's in Atriatrica Village in McKinney and it's really nice. Um, the one downside to it though is that um, there's no reception venue included. It's literally just for the service. So we just wanted to see what it was, like how it looked like and everything. So I'm actually about to do my makeup right now. I have all of my like products down here. I'll show them probably in a bit. But I wanted to get the vlog started. Well, first of all, it's April 3rd, and I wanted to just do like a day in my life kind of video. So if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Isabella, welcome. Really hope you stick around. Um, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below for me and turn on your post notifications by clicking the little bell icon. That way you're notified whenever I upload a new video and you don't miss out. I upload every Sunday and Wednesday. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this vlog. I'm just going to start doing my makeup. And because we're about to, like, we are going to leave at 2 p.m. It's 1.09 right now. We're going to leave at 2 to go to the, the venue. And our appointment to be there is at 3. So I'm going to go ahead and get my face presentable. Okay, guys. I am ready. Uh, I changed my top. I was wearing a different one earlier. I just want to show you guys what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing my Tiffany bracelet my mom gave me. Then I'm wearing my engagement ring. I'm about to put on my watch. I think I'm gonna change the band if I can find the other band because I have a nicer one. I'm just wearing like some jeans and I'm gonna, I was gonna wear these, but these kind of like, I don't know, they just don't work the best for my ears. So, but I'm gonna wear my Apple watch. I need to find that other band that I have because I have one that's like metal and so it looks a little bit more for classy. So I'm gonna change that and then for lip. I had my chapstick here not too long ago. And I'm wearing this Kendra Scott necklace that Zach got me for my birthday a few years ago. It's a crystal with like gold. I, I like to mix match my metals and then I'm gonna wear these earrings here i'll show y'all a little bit of a close-up if if it focuses they look like this they're for, the love knot earrings from kendra scott i got them last year for valentine's day from zach and i'm just gonna put those in my ear so here's what they look like my ears are really red right now but um yeah and then i'm just i just need to brush my hair and then like you put some dry shampoo in yeah and then we're gonna head out in it's 2.04 right now, we're actually going to head out at 2.25 because it's only 16 minutes away from where we live, so yeah. Also, I'm loving, look at my eyelashes, guys. This is from the um, the new Sky High mascara. I absolutely love it. The best 11 bucks I've ever spent. Um, and this is only like with two and a half coats, or maybe three, actually. But it looks so good, so I'm really impressed. Uh, I'm gonna clean up my room a little bit and then I'll talk to you guys while we are on our way. Hopefully they let us vlog, but if not, I'm gonna be taking a lot of pictures for Zach to see anyway because he's not coming. But yeah. Oh. We're in the car on our way to the venue. And we're in my parents' car. The first venue is the Belladon Chapel in McKinney in Adria, Turkin Village. It's super pretty. It's um, 4 something, like 4.30, 4.27. I have Starbucks. I got my iced chai latte with almond milk. We just got back from the venue. Um, it was really cute. And I um, you probably saw some of the clips already. But yeah, so um, Zach and I are going to go out for dinner later. But we're probably going to run some errands before. Sorry, it's like a lot of light. Probably gonna run some errands before um, we go. I need to find an outfit for tomorrow because tomorrow's Easter and we're going to church after not going for like a year since like COVID hit. Um, so 
yeah but i wanted to just update you guys the church was super the chapel was super cute and really elegant and really nice and so yeah but we have other tours this week this coming weekend so i'm probably gonna do a like like a whole video on like me touring wedding venues and stuff so i might just include some clips here and there from the one that i just went to today and i will update you guys later i'm about to start playing animal crossing i'm already playing this is what i'm playing i'm on but anyway talk to you guys when zach gets here and when i know what we're doing so we're at target and zach's having some problems but we're about to leave and then we're gonna go to eat at 8 11. it's such a good place but yeah, I'll talk to you. 11. We're about to order. Is it on? It's here, right? Yeah, we're gonna order. It's not focusing. Order the peachy pig. It look. It's gonna be so good. We ordered. What did we order last time? The Godfather. Yeah. We ordered the Godfather last time. It was really good. It just had a lot of peppers that I didn't like. I forgot it was on there. So we're getting the peachy pig, which is the one I wanted to get last time. This pizza. It's so good. Zach's like in love. <laughs> and I'm okay with it. Hi guys, so it is 10.08 and we just now got home from Kroger because we were gonna, we needed to buy some ingredients. We didn't have peanut butter that didn't have crumbs of bread in it. So oh, we got normal peanut butter, well, natural. What are you doing? Oh, can you get a mixing bowl? And um, yeah, so we're gonna make these cookies. What? Right make the Monster Melly's cookie, rainbow chocolate voodoo free cookie mix cookies. That was a lot of words. <laughs> um, and Zach's gonna help me, right? Can you preheat the oven to 350? Do you need me to do it or do you know how? I've never done it. Bake? Oh, do you see the other side for the top? Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm a child apparently. Okay. Okay, wait. So we're going to make this. If you guys never heard of them, it is a really good gluten free company, a really free cookie brand that was inspired by um, the, the owners of this and the creators of this were inspired to make gluten free treats because they have someone in their family that has celiac so this really is good for zach and it's they're very good they also sell them pre-made in like the frozen section of like target and you can just buy like a bag of like five and just take them and let them thaw out throughout the day but yeah so this is it the rainbow for like easter i wanted to get so the first thing i know it, you're kind of high up, so I'm sorry if you can't see any of this, but <laughs> I'm gonna open the mix. I'll hold up stuff so you can see it as I go. And you need to come here and help me when you're ready. I don't really have a drink. Okay. So the first thing. <laughs> it's okay. So this is a mix. I think this is a decent size. Yeah. Um, scissors are not there anymore. They're last drawer where the honey is. Oh. Yeah, so this has M&M's in it. This is made with oats and everything. It's certified gluten-free. You only it says you'll need one half one half cup. You need one half cup of nut butter of your choice. You can use almond butter. We want to use peanut butter because I don't think you like almond butter, do you? Okay. I don't think you've tried it much. Not really. Then there, we got one egg. And then we need four tables. So Zach's gonna pour it. Okay. Pour this in, babe. That might be, we might need more room. Uh, it's okay, then um, I'm gonna crack the egg. Just cracking it. Those things are really good. Yeah. I'm gonna leave you in charge of that. Peanut butter. Wow. Okay, so he's gonna Amazing. scoop out the peanut butter. And when you open it, you need to mix up because it's it's natural. Okay. Wow, amazing! All right, so we have the butter, and then it says one fourth cup. Of, oh, I was right. It's one fourth cup, which is four tablespoons. I'm tired, guys. It's been a so long day. So a tablespoon is an ounce. 
I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to disagree. The whole total that. weight is um, four ounces. So half of it would be an eighth of a cup. Get in the frame. Here, I'll make room for you. You're not making room for me. Look, guys. So I'm putting the butter in there. I'm going to put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Maybe less because I don't want it to explode all over the microwave. Oh, no dearie me. Okay, so great, good job, babe. Yay! Okay, I'm gonna put. Can you hold it for a minute? I'm gonna hold up the bowl so you can pour it in. <laughs> I knew. I figured that was gonna work. I mean, that was that you, wasn't gonna work. Okay. 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 And whatever is left on the spoon up okay. here. Here. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I ain't going this. Okay. Wait. You did it. <laughs> He's mixing that. Um, the oven's ready, so I'm gonna get out a sheet to put the cookies on. It says make two inch round balls with the cookie dough once it's ready. And arrange on baking sheet one inch apart and bake for a. This makes approximately six. Oh, something got it on the counter. It makes approximately 16 cookies. And then we bake for seven to nine minutes. Can you hand me my Pepsi? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so now I greased the pan with coconut oil, and now we're gonna, I think we need, I think I need to wash my hands. We need to, oh, um, this got really thick. This is how it looks like all mixed up, guys. And we need to make two inch balls. I'm taking off my wash because it's wet underneath. Um, two inch balls, one inch apart. I'm gonna mush them together with my hands. Like so. And here's the first one. I'm gonna put it on the baking sheet. Zach did a really nice job mixing everything. I really appreciate it. That was so random. Yeah. What? Yeah. So let me know you guys want us to do a Q&A because I would so like like to do that with that. Do you want to mold them or do you want me to just pass them to you to put it? They need to be, oh god. That one, yeah, scoot that one over a little bit. While we're doing this, we're going to put music back on. So the cookies are on the tray, and we're about to put. It, oh, I'm about to put them in. He's just washing his hands because he got all the cookie grease on it. How do you feel? I feel excited for. <gasps> we forgot to put the peeps. I had seen this recipe for these cookies when you put the Cadbury eggs in it, also, and then but we couldn't find those and because you know everyone took all of them, so they're all sold out, which is very unfortunate because my favorite candy for Easter are the Cadbury eggs. Apparently, everyone else. Yep. But this is the first year we, I haven't been able to get them, you know? Yeah. Anyway, but, uh, and then I saw another one where you could put a peep inside of the dough and then like break it apart and it like stretches and it looks really yummy. But I'm gonna put these in the oven and then I will talk to you guys a little bit later. We're gonna do some wedding planning and Zach wants me to talk to him about editing softwares for some clips for his gaming stuff that he's gonna start doing soon. So I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, the cookies are out. They've been out for quite a bit actually now. We're actually gonna have some. 